It's an honor to meet you. And I guess my first question is, growing up, did you ever have favorite movies with horses in them? I mean, the one that comes to mind for me is... Uh, National Velvet. Na National Velvet, Lisa Taylor. Do you have any movies like that that were special for you growing up? With a horse in it? Not that comes to mind. Black Beauty, Black Beauty maybe? Yeah. yeah. You know what? I I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's talk dogs. Okay. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Did you guys so, ever see Sea Biscuit? Yes. Oh, like, oh, yeah. Sea Biscuit really was. Good. Good. That was so yeah. this movie comes out on Christmas Day, and with the holidays coming up right around the corner, what are some of your favorite Christmas traditions with your family? Well, we just decorated the tree the other day. We always do that. We did something very different this year. This year we um, we left it just with little white lights, the, just the, and, and kept all the ornaments in the boxes tucked away. And it, it felt right this year. All of us agreed with so much, so much need in the world today, and so much excess. It just seemed right to keep the focus on on light and, and the it light of the really world. Yeah, and it's so pretty, and it just. It calms you and it soothes you and it, it just reminds you why we celebrate Christmas anyway. What do you guys do on Christmas Eve? Do you cook or do you guys open your presents? And no, we do that. We do it Christmas, Christmas morning. Day. Yeah, Christmas morning. Later and later, thank goodness. When they were little, they'd get us up at about five in the morning, and you know, we didn't at least let us turn on the coffee. <laughs> and then, obviously, you know, with, with Regis gone, do you think, as his wife is kind of joking, that he's going to be kind of driving her crazy? I mean, what do you think he's going to be doing? You know, we had dinner last night. Um, so he left the day after his his final show on the book tour, so I just saw him last night, and we had a great time. He's good. He's, I think what's great for him right now is that he's on this book tour and he's shattering all kinds of records. People are showing up in you know record numbers and hours and hours and hours of signing the book. And he's Ken Tanker is going. How much longer can we just go on? You know, he's done doing this. But thing. you guys have such great chemistry together. Would you ever consider having him be like some sort of little correspondent for your show? I don't think he, after his illustrious career, would, would go for that. I know. I, I want him to come on and be a guest and to help, you know, sell his book. He agreed to that. So we'll and then, get him to do that first. But he is, I mean, what about having his own talk show? There's been talk about him getting an afternoon show. You know, I think he just wants to, he doesn't know what he wants to do. He really doesn't. He knows he wants to do something. Right now he wants to get off this book tour and, and get to, uh, the, for the holidays. And I think he'll, he'll really, he'll assess it when that's behind him. And then, you know, a book tour is really grueling. Oh, I know. So he, he's not even thinking about anything right now. And then, last question, you know, for all the parents out there, and you guys look like you have a really close relationship, um, how do you foster that and kind of not become, like, friends with your kids, but also are a parent, and, you know, for mothers out there who have teen girls who are having a hard time, what is yes. your advice? I want your advice, too. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. I think just simple trust is the main thing. It's, she always says, my trust is yours to lose. So then you have that, and it's up to you sort of to make sense of what you do. 